Junior Kyle, 99. Double 16. Wow. Game shot the uh, three dark, dark combination. Proved too problematic there for Jamie Atkins. Fifth leg, John the three first. I like that bit Game of on. fire in Jamie Atkins tonight. And that was for a very big score line that would have put him in good stead. The opportunity may not have passed. 22. Jamie Carr, yeah, 20. Big moments here once again for Jamie Atkins. Game show with Mark, Jamie Atkins. And it is Jamie Atkins that takes the win over John Henderson by four legs to one. A really, really strong, solid performance from Atkins throughout to upset the chances of the Highlander. Come to car, 79. Game shot in the fourth leg. Come and work is up to the task. We'll talk about Fifth living every single moment. First. You can Game see on. that all across the face there, can't you? Drama. Yeah, that was an important last start there for Danny Atson. Just tapping on the shoulder here of Cam Crabtree. Oh. Wrong bed for Crabtree. Danny O'Carr, 118. So Janssen's going to get an opportunity. Same sort of combination, just needs the one treble. Doesn't find it. Crabtree 94. will be back. Cam O'Carr, 16. He's just found it in the last throw. He found it earlier on in the match with one duck. Can he find it again for the match? Taking his time, trying to compose himself. Hands on the hip for Danny yeah, Anderson. And that's the one country. that hurts the most. When you're stood at the back of the stage and you're hoping for the opportunity, the last start just breaks your heart. But Cam Crabtree shows composure to get over the line there and pick up the victory. A real quality game. We nearly lost our favourite in the early part in regards to their victories. John Henderson went down. Cam Crabtree, the second favourite of the night, shows his class. Paul Hinks embraces with the players because it was a high quality battle throughout. There's your averages, there's your stats. Crabtree's up and running. Two points on the board. Janssen did his part. He's got some legs on the board. But our attention moves back to Group 1. Jamie Atkins, who picked up a victory earlier on against John Henderson, takes on Aidan Kirk. He's oh, going 40. to get three more should he need them. Wow. Game shot the fifth leg, Jamie Atkins. Well, the question tends to be, does the player know so the scenario the of first. which they are playing? And Kirk could strengthen his chances of qualification here. Game shot on the mark. Aidan Kirk Aiden picks Kirk. up the win in a group that it could all get very messy very quickly. Aidan Kirk's been here before. Jamie Atkins, his first time on a Saturday night, is going to be extended. He's through to the semi final, but this group all now is going down to the wire. Aidan Kirk's got a couple of points on the board. John Henderson is waiting in the wings. Aidan Kirk says it got a little bit nervy there. It may have, but it was good enough a 4 2 success over Jamie Atkins. An 86.88 average got him over the line as our attention moves back to Group 2 action. Danny Janssen, who went down by four legs to three to Kevin Crabtree, he needs the result when he takes on Martin Thomas, who we get to see for the first time tonight. And he's got a pocket of supporters in the crowd. The Jimmy Van Ski fan base have become the Janssen massive and the mullet looking to pull off a win that sends him through to the semi-finals. And do you know what, Martin Thomas? He's having the best time. He's like, they're both having the best time of their life. And this is part of what the Super Series is all about. Players at the amateur level playing in front of a crowd, playing in front of an audience and playing to express themselves. And these two are definitely doing that. Let's hand down to the comms. No dancing, please. Laura Turner and Matthew Edgar. You on. Janssen will be expecting at least a dance. He's going to get two. Game shot the fourth leg. He only needs Danny the one with back at a level game at two apiece, but that could be a leg that Martin Thomas kind of looks back on. Danny to first. And just realises it's a bit of a 
the big stage before having quite a lot of support there and I wanted to do it for them. I was really kind of focused on that and you kind of lose the actual task in hand, which is just to find a win. One hundred and forty, Maripa, one hundred and twenty-eight. Well, what a fantastic response this is from Martin Thomas after making a bit of a mess of things in the last leg. Game shot on the fifth What leg. a Martin finish Thomas. that is from Martin Thomas. Three darts. I've gone for Danny Anson to keep his hopes alive. Thomas has tried to leave tops at every possibility. That's a great marker. Thirty. Daniel that was another 10. dart for Martin Thomas to qualify. Drama in Group 2. Game shot on Mars, Danny Anson. Oh, drama over, and it is Danny Anson who finds a way, finds the win, wins four legs of three over Martin Thomas. Disappointment for Martin Thomas, who pushed him all the way, but it's the one who keeps his chances alive, and you can see exactly what that means to him. As you say, just well off the mark, and I wonder if it does come back to what you were saying. It's, it's just a couple of legs I need. That's what you're saying to yourself. Well, John Henderson is denying him any opportunity to really play. Game and that's not going to help leg. you settle down John with your raid in Kirk. At the end of the game with Jamie Atkins, he stood at the back Still of the stage the shaking his hands, signalling that he was feeling nervous. Big last gets him down to a finish. A finish, ironically, that Aidan Kirk's hit twice already this week. But he may need to take it. What a day! And he's not going to. So Aidan Kirk for a place in the semi finals and he's 46. 134, Aidan Kirk 46. There has never been a moment John Henderson has not been the favourite to win this week. 30. And he's John just McCall, survived 36. two darts to keep him in it. Well, how costly could that Game prove? Sean well, very leg. costly in John terms Henderson. of the leg. And it's John Henderson that goes into a 3-1 lead. 64. John McCall, 64. Well, he's hit with a last start in hand to put himself into range. Game but there is no the hope John for Henderson. Aidan Kirk. John Henderson does the unthinkable. He needed a big, big victory there against Aidan Kirk and he found it 4-0 or 4-1 was the only score lines that could have got him through and he gets through with an average of 93.75. He had to ride his luck at times. Aidan Kirk missed two darts that would have qualified him through with Jamie Atkins and eliminated John Henderson. Instead, it's Henderson and Atkins that go through in Group 1. Who's going to go through in Group 2? We have no idea. There's even the possibility of a nine-dart shootout. We'll let you know all the permutations when Martin Thomas take on Cam Crabtree in our next game. Eighty. Martin Carr, 137. Next challenge for Martin Thomas is a big finish. He only had a shot at the 144 in the opening. It's again a big ask where he needs three perfect darts. But that is perfectly lied for how Martin Thomas's Game darts go. What leg, a Thomas. finish, Martin Thomas. A 137 to get the darts back. And he's so cool, so calm about it. Yeah, good call. Second one found there. And there was a bit of pressure on this. Double 16. Game shot pressure, what well, pressure. That's a great 112 finish there from Cam Crabtree. Get the sense that this one of these games that you know, no one's going to quite hold on to their throw. It's very reactive. For a holder throw, and what a time to get it for Martin Thomas. Oh, no. Disaster for Thomas. He missed darts to qualify earlier on against Danny Jansen. He's missed darts here. That's Game let Cam Crabtree, Crabtree, Crabtree back into the game. And a third consecutive break of throw. Tricky. No score. He even found Martin a way under it, 56. but still just overshot the target. So once again, Martin Thomas steps up. This would be for another break of throw. Tops required, and he's been deadly on the tops. 36. More missed there for Martin Thomas. 
He's had his chances, he's had his opportunities. Opportunities that he shall get no more of. Crabtree eventually gets over the line against Martin Thomas, who's had a good week here at the Super Series, returning back to action here at Modus. Yeah, rather laps throw, but a 140 on here for Jamie Atkins. Needs double ten. That's exceptional, and there's that aggression that you were saying about that. Really is channeling it very well. Game on. This to go within one leg of a place in the final. Needs tops. Has to move across just to get the angle. 59. Daniel Carr won't find it. Oh, it's on. Jenkins was an interested bystander 20. there. The head was up watching the board. The second he knew he was getting a chance, the head was down, focusing on his own darts, his own processors. He couldn't have got that any closer. But he can get it in. A leg away. Chooses to split. Janssen's put the darts away. The hands are on the hips. He thinks he's gone. And he is. And look what it means to Jamie Atkins. The third time he's been here at the Super Series. The first time he is through to a finals night. And he is going all the way to the final, to the grand game, where he may be booking himself a place in Champions Week here on Series 9. Danny Janssen, a quality game. He's been a quality operator throughout the week. But he departs us as Jamie Atkins departs the stage to prepare for his final match, the final game of week number seven. And just look at those stats. A 140 checkout, a 12 data, a 98 average. If he can repeat that, he could be in the winner's enclosure. But who will he play? Will it be Cam Crabtree or the favourite to win the week, John Henderson, who are both coming up next? Now he had it for so long. But the opportunities here at Moda Super Series and obviously what he's doing on the seniors just made a world of difference. Yeah, he's to take, 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 take. And that with a worldie there from Cam Tra Crabtree. He'll be trying Don't to book himself a PDC eight. tour card. But Hendo's trying to book himself a place in the final here. He's been hit with a big finish by Cam in the opening leg, and he's just hit back with one of his own. Buy into that moment. No score. John Ricard, 140. Yeah, but just drags it down and... John Henderson here, 140 required for a place in the final against Jamie Atkins. 60. Come to car, 20. Third opportunity for Crabtree to get this leg done, but this time you feel it has to go. Hendo in striking range. Just like we were saying, one thing that does not suit Cam Crabtree's game is a little bit of comfort. That is three trebleless visits now out of the four that John Henderson has had. Crabtree will sense the chance and he leaves himself handy. Hendo needs to reply in kind. Well, this could be going the distance. Henderson just... Perhaps struggling just to find his feet, find his rhythm. He's a very rhythmical player. But he wouldn't throw until he found it, would he? Needed to make sure that he was set and he was how he wanted to throw the dart, and he was. But hang on. What an incredible finish that is from Cram Crabtree. 105. Game shot and a match. But he John will not. Henderson. John Henderson gets over the line. It was a quality semi-final. Three big finishers aiding the drama.
but John Henderson, who had a 3-1 lead and probably thought he was going to get the job done a bit sooner, was hit back hard there from Cam Crabtree. Henderson gets over the line in the end in the deciding leg. Crabtree departs. He will move to the bench to join Danny Jansen, where John Henderson will move through to the final. John Henderson, a 4-3 victory there over Crabtree, where he will now take on Jamie Atkins to see who will be picking up the Series 9 Week 7 title. Didn't leave much for interpretation there. Well, he couldn't have got any closer than that. John Henderson, two well-thrown darts. Jamie Atkins, that face tells you everything. He didn't expect this chance. He thought the chance had gone. He's going to get two at double 16. Just checking the score, making sure there's no errors. It's an ideal marker. 16. Doesn't use it. John Yorker, 18. And as things in this second leg just start to not quite go to plan for Jamie Atkins. You can see that emotion creeping in. You can see it starting to perhaps unravel, but he's going to come back. He's going to get another chance. But again, the facials of Jamie Ten. Atkins on that Jamie miss. Carr, Someone who's really engaged with every single moment. He's playing the emotional side of the game at the moment. He just needs to detach himself from that, get back to what's got him to this point. And I'm not John too Yorker surprised eight. to see him miss that opportunity. He's starting to get engaged. He's getting embroiled. And if we're noticing this, I'm sure John Henderson is as well. Game show on the second leg. John Henderson. 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 I start at one apiece. Third Shake of the head the there. He knows. Game on. Sometimes that is a way to combat. If you feel like you're getting a bit too much adrenaline going through the body, adrenaline's not always a bad thing. It's just how you channel it. That slip from Henderson into the fives now has offered Jamie Atkins a couple of visits here at the 112, should he need them. Game shot the fourth leg. Turns out just needed the one visit. Two apiece. I think he needed that. Sometimes you need a clean kill. He gets John down to a finish. Game. And that is it. And the match. And the winner of the Motor Super Series. Series 9, Week 7. John Henderson. For the second time, John Henderson has picked up a weekly title here at the Moda Super Series. Jamie Atkins, what a week he has had. He's got through to the final on his third time here. I'm sure we are going to see plenty more of Jamie Atkins here at the Moda Super Series. He was so close, a couple of darts away, a couple of legs away from picking up a title. But John Henderson is the latest player to book himself through to Champions Week. The seventh player to do so. An 84 average does the job. John Henderson is your weekly winner. Indeed he is. For the second time, John Henderson reigns at the Live Lounge in Portsmouth. Seven series ago he did so for the first time. It's the largest gap between first and second win in this competition. John Henderson, the winner, beating Jamie Atkins by four legs to two in the final. And for the second time, he is a weekly winner. He is relieved. He is almost ready to hold the trophy aloft. And these are the players he's going to be joining at Champions Week. The former champion, Andreas Harrison, is going to be there. Tom Sykes, who, of course, lost the final there, is also going to be at Champions Week. He's taken the congratulations of Cam Crabtree and Danny Janssen, who stayed until the end. But it's John Henderson's night here at the Live Lounge in Portsmouth. And to crown him the champion, let's hand over to Paul Hicks. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a fantastic night of darts tonight. I hope you've all enjoyed it because, to be honest, it's one of the best nights of darts I've ever refereed down at the Modus Super Series. What a great night. All eight players, fantastic. Sorry, sorry, all six players, not eight. Getting carried away with myself. 
but there can only be one winner. And tonight, the winner of the Molda Super Series, Series 9, Week 7, it's the Highlander, John Henderson! Never has he felt that feeling as often in his career. John Henderson for the second time, a Super Series champion.